Troublesome trucks may be troublesome, but they are an asset to the railway. They are the cold and water that they hunt with goods like coal, timber, cattle, food, and many other things. However, they are also known to cause mischief, and their mischief causes trouble. Every wise engine knows that you cannot trust trucks. However, there are those that aren't so troublesome, like Hector for example. One afternoon, James was complaining at Tidmouth Sheds. I had to put over the newer flatbed I had arrived today. He has given me a lot of trouble, but even more uh, trouble what and Jen and Diana and Anna did to Thomas. Well, at least they have turned a new leaf. Who is the flatbed's name? His name is Monto. Uh, he is from Japan where he came from. So what I've heard that he is a very reckless and arguably the most troublesome piece of the rolling stock ever built. Even so scruffy, rickety, and Freddy combined. Could the same be said with Tony Yule playing the rest? Yes. Well, once they aren't troublesome. I'll have to tell the other engines about him so that they are aware of his behavior. The next morning, Edward was shunting some trucks when he saw Morimoto. That must be that new flatbed that Henry told me about when I was at the shed earlier today. It must be more moto, I think. I think that's me. I've heard about you from Henry when I was at Tidmouth Sheds earlier today. Also, I want no nonsense from you after what happened at the Scruffy a few years ago. What did Scruffy do again? He tricked me into thinking that Henry took on some bad coal and nearly made me crash into Gordon. Come on, Edwin. Our next job is to get Gordon's coaches ready for his express train. Right, sir. While Edwin is gone, Harry comes into the yard so he's not a brake man. Does anyone know where I can find a brake man? That's one over there. Isn't that Oliver's brake man? Are you trying to trick me into taking him by mistake? I don't even know who Oliver is. Oh, well. But thanks for the help anyway. And Harry puffed away. Has anyone seen Toad? I'm not sure. Where did you leave him last time? I left him in the yards, but now he's gone. I must find him. I think I might know who could be behind all this. I don't know that tank engine. Yes. I played a trick on him a while. 
But however, the fat man told me if I did that again, he would punish me. I say, how about we play a trick on the next dungeon that comes next? Later, Arthur came puffing into the lighter's goods train. However, unknown to him was that Scruffy and Morimoto were planning on their next trick. Right, we do it when we get to Gordon's Hill. Everything was going fine for Arthur until he got to Gordon's Hill. This is where the trucks carried out their plan and pushed Arthur down the hill. I've got to stop! I've got to stop! Henry, watch out! And then there was even more trouble. Arthur saw that he was on the same track as Harry, and he couldn't stop in time. Father, my paint is now all covered in oil, and my brakes are also damaged! Emily and Rocky soon arrived to clean the mess. There you are, dude! Wait, was that your brake van, Oliver? Yes. I'm alright, Mr. Oliver. I'm just a rail from the crash, that's all. Someone must have tricked me into taking him. And I feel it might have been that flatbed from Japan. Just then, Edward and Winston arrived. The fat controller was on board. What happened here? The trucks pushed me down the hill. I tried to stop them, but ended up crashing into Harry. I think Scruffy and that new flatbed from Japan were behind us, sir. Well, Jin Oliver. I want you to take Arthur to the works and shall get someone else to look after his branch line for him. The fat controller spoke to Scruffy. I thought when I scolded you after you played that trick on Edwin, I thought it would have taught you a lesson, but you haven't. As punishment, you will be working at Scrapyard for three weeks. As for Morimoto, once Arthur has been taken away to be repaired, he will stay in the shining for the rest of the month. I hope it will teach you a lesson for being troublesome. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, had I not teamed up with him, then I wouldn't have gotten into this mess. If you weren't complaining as much, then I would have gotten this job done quicker. But I think Scruffy got what he deserved, didn't he?